The advantage of fiber optic cable is fast speed, long distance, and low latency. Like this fiber optic cable, it's quite easy to achieve 10,000 megabytes per second bandwidth up to 10 km long distance. It's almost impossible for the Cafe UK6 Ethernet cable to come up with. But one of the drawbacks for the fiber optic cable is we cannot send the power through the fiber optic cable. Unlike the Cafe UK6 Ethernet cable, which is copper, so we can inject the power using the PoE power over Ethernet to send both power and data through this cable, so the actual device will got both power and data just through single Ethernet cable. Is there any solution we can use the fiber optic cable as well as the power solution? We'll try to find out in this video. Let's work, move the raw shot. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. First, let's take a look at the whole system. This is the PoE NVI. We got four PoE ports. You see, we cannot connect the fiber optic cable directly to one of these ports. Right? It's only can take in the K5 UK6 Ethernet cable. So we are using the short punch code to link one of these ports to this media converter. What does this media converter do? It will convert the digital signal to fiber optic cable signal. So we can get the fiber optic cable start from here. And one thing about important about the media converter is, is the SLP module. This one, it will determine what kind of fiber optic cable you can use, single mode or multi mode, and what kind of connector you can use. This one is using the single mode and the LC connector. And from here, we got the boss. There's nothing special. This is only the boss for the cable management. Let's open up and see what is inside. You see, we got two fiber optic cable, and here's the short punch code. Nothing special, just for cable management. Here we got the power code. You can see the power code is being wired in parallel with the fiber optic cable, and this is the power source, which output the DC 55 voltage. It's quite similar as the PoE, right? Just the PoE uses single K5 UK6 Ethernet cable, but here we are using two cable. One is the fiber optic cable, another is the power code. And we send the power from this power source and it will reach to the edge. Now let's move to the edge. And this one is also the boss for cable management, nothing special. And from here we got two output. One is the fiber optic cable and going to lead, land to this media converter. This is the outdoor PoE media converter. And the power is coming from here and also go to the media converter. Now we got the standard PoE output to the IP camera. The key thing in this system is we need to deal with the power loss. The longer the distance, the more power loss will be. Fortunately, this outdoor media converter has the voltage regulator built in. So it can take in the voltage between DC24 voltage to DC50 voltage. And it will regulate the output to standard PoE. So there's no need to worry about the voltage drop. And there's remain one question. What's the maximum distance between the, like the MVR and the outdoor media converter? Actually, it will be fine, just up to 3,000 feet. It depends on what kind of power cook you are going to use and what is the maximum power consumption on your IP camera or the IP device. All right, that's all for today's video. If you have any question about this system, please leave a comment section below. See you next time.